If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We know that the resistance of a conducting wire takes on the following equation. We have the resistivity rho multiplied by the length of the wire divided by the cross-sectional area. We also know that the resistive dissipation or power in a resistor is equal to the following equation. We're going to solve the latter equation for R by multiplying both sides by R and then dividing both sides by the power P. We could then take this expression for the resistance and plug it into the first equation. We will then solve the equation for the length L by multiplying both sides by the area over the resistivity rho. We can now simply plug in the known values. Just note that again this value here is the resistivity rho which was given to us in the question, and then this is the power p, which was also given in the question. And when we simplify this expression, we get a value of 5.85 meters for the length of the wire in part a. For part b, the question states that we want to obtain the same dissipation rate, so that's just another way of saying that the power is the same, so the power is still going to be 5,000 watts, but this time only 100 volts is being used. So we're going to have the same setup, except we're going to change the 75 volts to 100 volts. And with that change, we compute a length of 10.4 meters. And so we can see, looking at the correct answer to part B here, that when a larger voltage is used, the wire ends up being longer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you're welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I will do my best to post a solution to it on YouTube.